Now, I'm usually a pretty analog girl when it comes to music, but there is one app that I just can't live without. The iReal Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up and oriented on the iReal Pro. If that's something you're interested in, stick around. So the iReal Pro is an amazing app that is basically like having a band at your beck and call who will never vibe you or judge you for screwing up the form. <laughs> it gives you the capacity to play almost any song in any key, in any groove, and at any tempo. It was created about 10 years ago by the great jazz bassist Massimo Bielkati, and it's like a living, breathing fake book that has come to life. So when you download the iReal Pro app, and I have it on my desktop here, but I more regularly use it on my iPad, but they look pretty much the same. Um, you're going to get it with 50 songs in it, and all of the songs are basically exercises, okay? And so you're, you might look and say, oh crud, like where are the songs? The way that you get to the songs is to go up to the forums, because apparently they had some copyright issues. <laughs> So this is how they got around it. And so what you'll see is you've got the iReal Pro forums and what these forums are is that people have posted um, their own songs and things. And so if you're getting jazz, they've got this jazz 1350 standards. This is the, you know, the master standards packet that you get. Um, and then you can click on this and it will automatically import it to the iReal Pro import playlist. And then it will show up here in your playlist and see all of a sudden here, you have all the songs in here, which is just fantastic. Now, if you're primarily a jazz person, um, this is plenty to get you started, but you can also go back to the forums again and you can look through the pop rock and blues. You see they've got the Beatles playlist, um, Stevie Wonder songs, Pink Floyd, Blues 50, the Pop 400 is great. Um, because it's a whole bunch of stuff that's really useful to do. So again, depending on what you're using this for, and now you've got some Beatles and some Jackson 5, it's kind of a, a nice little mixed bag, some Steely Dan, some very hip stuff in here, which is great. And then that appears in your playlist here. So we're going to go into the app now, um, and I'm going to pick a song. Let me pick Take the A-Train. I can go to the search button and I can type in take and look how nicely this is easy to find. So now you've got take the A train here. Um, you can hide the sidebar if you want a bigger version of this. And now we can go into all these little details here on the bottom, okay? The mixer is where you can determine piano, bass, and drums. And so if you're a pianist, and you're going to be practicing along with this. Well, you don't need the piano in it because it will be very cluttered sounding. Okay. Um, if you're a bass player, you can pull the acoustic bass out of the mix. Um, if you're the drummer, you can do, do it that way. Okay. And also, um, if you want to just use this as a drum machine, you just pull the piano and the acoustic bass off of it, which is really great. Um, or if you're a singer and you're trying to work on your ear training, try practicing along just with acoustic bass. Okay, um, but for now we're going to have all of them in. The effects here um, just means how um, how much reverb there's going to be in it, so you don't need a lot. Um, now another little tidbit here is where it says the count in, and the count in can be like sort of automatic, or you can have a one measure count off or a two measure count off. Um, if you're doing a ballad, a lot of times one measure is plenty. Um, but if you're doing an up-tempo song, you might want to have two measures of it, okay? And it's, it has automatic. This is new. Um, you can also go for no count in, but I don't recommend that because you'll, how you start on time. Um, they, you can choose what sound you want for the count off. If you want to have a cowbell, I mean, I'm so used to that. That's the sound it makes, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just press play and let you kind of see what this experience is. So 
the cowbell sound that you got for the count off and they even show you on the, the page, which is really great. So that's how you use the mixer and everything. Um, right in here, you can go into the styles and this is where you really can have some serious, serious fun. Um, when you go in through here, you've got the option of jazz, Latin, pop, or blues, and apparently you have to pay extra for the blues. But when you go into the jazz, you have all of these different choices, okay, which is, is really a lot of fun to get into. Um, double time feel, like all of these kind of different sounds that go on in here, up-tempo swing, um, which is great. You've got Latin choices, which is very cool. There's some really interesting ones in here. And then a whole bunch of pop sounds okay so if you're in the mood to play take the a train as a reggae <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you'd do this, <laughs> right? But you can have some fun with that, all right? I better put this back or uh, Billy Strayhorn's going to come after me <laughs> um, to medium swing. Um, so that's what style is. And you can, as I said before, you can really have a lot of fun with us. Um, then we get up to this section here where it says repeats. Now, if you're going to be practicing something, you know, what I do with my, my students, we have the sort of protocol of, of improv exercises that we do. You'll want to make this go up to quite a lot. Um, but if you were doing, you know, self-taping an audition of yourself singing three choruses of Take the A Train, you can customize that as you go. You can also customize the tempo here. Um, and what this number means is the, it's the metronome marking or the number of beats per minute, okay? Now, right here, um, if you needed to, you can pause it in the middle. So let's say you got this far and you went, oops, I made a mistake. You can pause it and then you can start it again, right? But then if you want to reset it after that to go back to the beginning, you would press stop. Okay, and then the thing that all the singers in particular love is that you can change the key to any key. So if you decide you want to do take the A train in the key of D flat, look at that. Um, key of F, it's all there for you. Okay, um, and so this again is really worth its weight in gold. So if you're a pianist or a saxophone player and you want to practice through this through different keys, you can do that and the, um, the band will play it in any key you want. If you're a singer and you know that there's a specific key that you need to sing the song in, you can do that. Um, if you're a pianist or a bass player on a gig and the singer calls a song that you don't really know in a key you don't really know it in, again, this is something that you can call up to help you. A couple of other little fun things in here is you can change the font. So again, this is kind of like a new thing, which is, is kind of fun that you can, they've got it written out in numbers. Um, so you can easily transpose it. They've got it in tablature, um, one hand piano. I mean, yeah, you don't need that. Ukulele. I mean, it's very fun. And another thing that you can do if there's some chord changes that you disagree with, you can go into edit and you can edit the song. And also in here, and I could show you on a subsequent video, if you have original songs, you can put them in too because you can create your own versions of these, um, which, is, which is a lot of fun. Um, other things in here, there's chords that you can check out. There are um, different practice things. So if you want to um, loop one particular part, if you're having a difficult part, I mean, this song doesn't have a lot of difficult in it, but if you want to just loop part of the song, you can do all of that in here as well. So this is the iReal Pro and how to use it. Um, I'm going to make another video soon about all kinds of different ways that you can practice with it because I have about 15 or so different ways that I like to use the iReal Pro. I hope this was helpful.